Hello again, and today we are going to uh, start a new series that I wanted to do about um, some AI extensions that are available. So some AI extensions that you can download for Chrome or AI uh, programs that are embedded within websites and such. So today I want to talk about an extension called Quillbot. Now Quillbot is a uh, Google Chrome extension that if we just do a quick search here, uh, we can get the Quillbot Chrome extension that we can simply download. And when you actually get to the Chrome Web Store, you're going to see this little logo here. And then you can go ahead and add that uh, extension to Chrome. Uh, so it'll download and install automatically for you. So a couple of things you're going to notice as soon as you download and install Quillbot is uh, looking at Google Docs and Google Slides. So I have a quick Google Doc open here. And once you're logged in with your Gmail or whatever email account that you install it with, you're going to notice that in something like Google Docs, you're going to see this little icon right on the side here. And you might even see the Quillbot icon on uh, the right hand side. Uh, so the simplest way to use Quillbot is while you're typing in your uh, Google Docs. So if I do something like, hello, my name is Frank, and I am excited to show you Quillbot. So if I go ahead and do that, you notice that it's working. It's checking all of my spelling here. So once I went ahead and entered two lines there, we can see that they have six suggestions for us and they're all underlined. So if I go ahead and hover over, it says that I'm missing a comma. So I can go ahead and click on that and we'll see what they regenerate. Another comma. So clearly I'm really bad at commas. Um, and looks like we also missed something in Quillbot, oh, probably the capital B. Um, another suggestion that we could do is uh, we can go ahead and just write a quick line. How is this working for us? Actually, I'm going to put a period because let's see if it's going to suggest something else there. How is this? So a quick spelling check there. Another check should have a question mark. Perfect. Now you'll also notice that the spelling and grammar was this top button here. Just below that, there's like a little quill. It actually is a paraphrase. So if we can paraphrase all text, let's see what exactly it suggests for us. So on the first sentence, it's actually giving me a few suggestions. So instead of, hello, my name is Frank. I'm excited to show you Quillbot. Frank here, and I'm eager to present you Quillbot. Quillbot to you. Hello, my name is Frank, and I am here to introduce Quillbot to you. So there's a couple of ideas and suggestions that are available for us that a quick little click will correct that for us. Uh, let's see. And then they have some more suggestions. I'm going to go to the next one so I can get that bottom one. How is this working for us? How is this benefiting us? I think I like that one a lot better than how is this working for us? So just from a quick little scan, a quick couple of buttons, the AI within Quillbot is actually making our writing better, a, little, a lot more engaging, a lot, a lot juicier, basically, um, all within Google Docs. So that is one huge benefit of using Quillbot. Quillbot also has its own website as well. So if I hop over to their website, and you can actually access this from the uh, black puzzle piece, like the extension bar, if you go ahead and click on it, and this is what it looks like. So we have a couple of uh, different tools. We'll just go over a few here. So you'll see like on the left hand side, all of these tools that are available for us. Uh, the first one we're looking at is a paraphraser. So very similar to what we just did in Google Docs. If we do this, type in the same sentence, my name is Frank and I want to show you Quillbot. We can paraphrase and it's gonna throw it on the other side with some suggestions there. So Frank here, I'd like to show you Quillbot. Another idea you'll see also at the top here, we can actually convert this to different languages. So if I go ahead and click on French and we start typing, click paraphrase, it actually converts it to French for us. So hello, my name is Frank, is now salutation, je m'appelle Frank. So just from one simple click, we have a translation from English to French and it's the exact same sentence. So you can see that there is a variety of different languages that we can actually use uh, in our um, little paraphrase here. So you'll notice also we have a grammar checker, plagiarism checker. Co-Writer is a really cool tool that I'm going to show you next. 
Okay, so we're in our co-writer here. So we can do something as simple as a new project where we get a blank, uh, a blank document. Um, you'll notice that we have templates, we can import a file, and you'll notice on the side here also, and it's actually changing for us with some suggestions, uh, the smart start. This is the big AI um, item for us. So if I go ahead and click essay, uh, we actually have three options right now. We have essay, blog, and research paper. So three, you know, items that can be very challenging to write. So if we go ahead and click on essay and we come up with a quick little essay topic. So let's say something like, um, uh, what are the disadvantages of climate change? Something like that. Just ask a quick question. It's going to start generating an essay for us that we can uh, start working on. So I'm actually just going to remove these little pieces here. So you'll see they broke it down into multiple parts. So they didn't write it for us, but they at least gave us a little breakdown of what we could write in this essay that has to do on the topic of climate change. So the introduction, briefly introduce the topic of climate change. Don't forget to state the purpose and then provide a thesis statement. So what are the three main points that we are going to look at? And then just below that, they actually give us some ideas on what to write about. So this first one, I'm going to go back up, sorry. Uh, environmental disadvantages, that could be something we can talk about. Social and economic disadvantages, and we can talk about those parts. So all of those are created for us with some ideas and then broken down into even more pieces. So from there, we could actually start that research. We could start writing this essay and it's all helped with Quillbot. And you'll see at the bottom here also, we have that paraphrase. We can summarize and they even suggest some text for us. So all of that is provided for you from Quillbot. Okay, and then you'll notice on the right hand side, there's also a piece for research for notes and some, some citations. Um, so what we could do if we wanted to, let's say something about increased exposure, let's say we actually really like this part and we want to know some more. Let's do some research on that. So from here, after I copy it, hop over to research click on the academic tool. That way we can get academic papers, like actual uh, like scientific journals that can actually prove our points here. And we go ahead and paste, we can search the web and we can see a variety of different articles uh, that we can go ahead and open and read about the, ex uh, the increased exposure to weather events. So we can go ahead and pick one of these, a couple of these, just go ahead and click on it. It opens in a new tab. Uh, and then that way we can actually read the journal and then cite and quote any of it. What's nice, going back to Quillbot, if we really like this one, we can go ahead and click the cite button, cite button here. And it actually gives us a little citation on the side that we could actually click the link and it shows everything right over here. Create citation in MLA format. And we can go ahead and do that. It actually puts it right here at the bottom. Just going back here to the co-writer page uh, within Quillbot, I want to show you really quickly the uh, templates that we have available as well. So if I go ahead and click on templates, we could actually do a quick search um, for any templates that we want to do. Uh, we want to create from scratch. So we have a couple of different blog posts, job descriptions, uh, project, a resume business letter, emails, et cetera, that we could actually just click on one of them and start creating our um, actual writing pieces from here using CoWriter. So if I go ahead and just do a quick cold email, let's see what this one is about. We can actually see that they're just breaking down the parts of an email for us. So the subject line, a greeting, introduction, et cetera, all the way down to the bottom. So. Uh, a really neat way to kind of have everything set up for us. Uh, and then we just kind of fill in the blanks. So we don't have to worry so much about the actual setup, the actual um, parts of an email or other forms of writing. It's all kind of made for you. And then you can just fill in the blanks. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick little introduction on Quillbot, uh, the first part of our AI uh, for Education series. Uh, check out uh, the channel next week as I'm hoping to add a few more uh, as we go here. But please subscribe and like this video and this channel and we will see you soon.
Thank you so much.